What's up, fam? This is Kenny with Tiro. Say what? Listen, I am going to do an unboxing today. And this is a deck that I picked up um, probably over on Amazon. And I'm not quite sure what to think of the deck. I hadn't heard of it. wasn't aware of its release. And I'm not even familiar with the publishing group. But that doesn't mean I'm not excited. So let's get into this deck. Today's deck that I'll be using is the One World Tarot. This deck was created by Lena Rose Rodriguez and uh, Sienna Rose with June Rifkin in illustrations by Alexandra Philippic. So we're going to get into this deck. I'm excited to use it. See my reflection showing up. <laughs> okay, so in the back of this deck, it says uh, this deck includes a 78 card deck and illustrated book. Uh, and then it also goes on to say that the tarot has been a source of inspiration and guidance for generations. Since its early days, the tarot has evolved and grown in popularity due to its continuous appeal as an informative and provocative tool. The One World Tarot takes a fresh and contemporary approach to the deck and the meaning of the cards. Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose guide the reader through the history and essential meanings of the individual cards, major and minor arcana, and through some potential spreads and readings. Designed for all interested parties, from beginners to longtime practitioners, the One World Tarot encompasses many centuries and cultures, embracing our global diversity and applying all genders. Paying homage to the traditional tarot, this book and card set brings the ancient art brilliantly into the 21st century. Okay, my friends, I'm really going to get excited already. I'm hearing some things that I like. All the buzzwords are there. I just want to point out the One World Tarot that was created by Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose with June Rifkin with illustrations by Alexandra Philippic and published by the St. Martin's uh, Publishing Group, um, St. Martin's Essential. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. Big up to uh, young John, Jim, Jim Lim, who did the cover of this box. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I'm just ripping into this one. Um, Put this over here. I need a better work area, my friends. I What's your tarot work area? I need to really um, improve where I'm working right now. I'm sensing the need to do so. So that will be coming up. So my friends, here's the One World Tarot. Okay, so we have a little box. I love these boxes. They're easy to get into. Okay, before I get into the deck. Okay, okay. Okay. So we have the deck. I'm noticing something. I'm looking down, noticing something, but we'll get into that. Uh, One World Tarot, we have this guidebook. Uh, it's pretty informative. It's black and white guidebook on the inside with, the, with illustrations of the art. Um, it has a description, it has some keywords, have, it has information about the card. Um, in the reading, you can take it from a personal view or a world view, and it also gives a tarot tip. Uh, that might seem like a lot, but here I'll make sense in a second, I guess. They have an introduction of the history of the tarot used in the book. I'm trying to see if there's anything about the deck creators. And I'm not seeing that, but Okay. I'm just trying to see. Nope. This tarot deck book. This book and tarot deck are dedicated to Mariana Tapuni Ray, you were luminous in life and your legacy lives on in many countries. Everyone who knew you still celebrates your wisdom, humor, and optimism. And we always remember your mantra. Tonight has the potential for greatness. You were the inspiration for the star in the One World Tarot. Okay, so we have that information. Here's a little bit on the back. Give you a sense of the artwork. Okay, now let's get into these cards, my friends. Okay. Put this over here. Put the guidebook over here. Now, let's get into these. Okay, so here's the back of the deck. Okay. Now, the first thing that I noticed, and maybe it's just a personal preference. How do you like your cards assembled when you open the deck? Do you want the Major Arcana first? Do you want the then the court cards and then the four suits? Do you like it just to appear as it is? 
if it's a, if it doesn't appear in a traditional way, like the major account of first and then the court card or the suit cards, do you often wonder like why? I'm certainly wondering that, just looking at this. So, and looking at the deck, I don't know what to think right now. Um, I'm looking at the deck and I see what they're doing. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. Um, these cards are not gonna start with the Major account of first, it's actually starting with the Two of Cups. And I'm going to just go ahead and flip through and pull out the major at Canna because that's what I want to see first. But big ups to the creators for how they did theirs. And I just found myself reassembling the quarter cards. Um, and of course, that's following my own. That, yeah, there's a lot going into why I'm doing that um, that I'll have to address. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these major at Canna. Um, I'm going to start with the Fool, even though it's the wild card and can be, you know, uh, in any position. So we have the Fool. Okay, I'm liking the artwork. As I flip through, I'm noticing that I'm not the biggest fan of the card stock, but I still like that. We have the Magician. Okay. The High Priestess. Oh, I like this Empress. I really like that. I like this Empress. I want to compare this to the... Uh, to the uh, court cards and the queens, especially. Um, we have the king. Yeah, the hierophant. You see someone that's in a chair. You see different people there, um, different institutions that are outlined. Okay, here are the lovers. The Chariot, Strength, Hermit. Again, one of my favorite cards. I'm not really being captivated by it, but I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the colors. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. You have Justice. The Hangman. Death. Temperance, the devil, <clears throat> tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. Okay. Um, so... Big ups to the deck creators for putting out this deck and sharing their, their work with the world. Listen, if you're not following me on Instagram or subscribing to my channel on YouTube, please do so right now. Let's go ahead and go get some more of these cards. And I'm going to flip through these really quickly. The cards start, the suits start with a two, and then it goes to the Ace of Cups. Then it goes to the King. Uh... The knight, page, and queen. So I reassembled those in terms of, you know, traditional ways that um, I like to look at the cards. I even like to look at them. I'm just looking at them that way. Um, but anyway, we're going to look at it that way. Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. Let me tell you, if I could find a pair of gold lame pants, hang my hair down a little bit, just like the individual in the background, loving that. Four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups. Ooh, I'm liking this night. Check that out. Okay, I'm liking the knight. Here's the page of cups, the queen of cups, and the king of cups. Let's go on to the pentacles because that appears next in this deck. Just gonna do a little quick reassemble. 
which is not working out for me. King, Queen, Knight, and Page. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. I'm liking the water in the background and how it's like really choppy. Um, you know, thinking about the emotional impact, I guess if you're juggling two priorities, um, how that plays out in the, in the Pentacles. Um, water of Earth. Let's see if what the Queen of uh, Pentacles looks like in that deck, if it follows with that card, the Two of Pentacles. Here's the Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, I'm loving this. Again, Nine of Pentacles. Loving, 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 loving. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Go to the page. The knight, the queen, and the king. Okay, we're going to do the swords really quickly. Really quickly. Okay. Ace of Swords. We have a two of swords, three of swords, four of swords, five of swords, six of swords, seven, eight, nine, okay, ten. So just to give you my thoughts, you know, I'm loving to see the diversity and, you know, races, cultures, um, body types, loving all that, um, loving it all, loving it all, loving it all. Am I captivated by the art that the artwork that's making that's drawing me in? Not as much, honestly, not as much. I mean, I'm loving it, loving the colors, I'm loving the art. Um, but in terms of the details, I'm not drawn into it right now, and that might be something within me that I need to sit with. But there's nothing that's making me stop and seeing any intricate secrets or details that I may not normally see in cards. Um, they're pretty straightforward. The Six of Wands. I think the biggest thing about this deck that I like is the colors and then the artwork, um, the different bodies, different images that they rep, rep that they represent. Yeah, so this is the One World Tarot deck. Um, yeah, this is the One World Tarot deck. I'm going back in, and as a black gay man, I'm actually just flipping through and seeing, you know, how I feel represented in this deck. Um, looking through the major arcana, and maybe in the higher font card or something. Um yeah, I think that's the only card only where there's a black person that identify that I would identify with. Um, yes, my friends, this is the deck. Um, the One World Tarot. Yeah. Um, again, you know, everything is not for me, but I think there's some great things about this deck that, you know, let's not write it off. Um Big ups to these deck creators, you know, for putting this work out there, sharing it with the world. Um, yeah, I say you should support the deck. You definitely should support it because I want to know your thoughts and what stands out about the deck to you, what parts do you actually like. Um, you know, here's the thing. These deck creators did something that I didn't do. They put out a deck and I'm amazed because that's some great work to be able to put your work out there. And to have it subject to other people's thoughts and opinions. But at the end of the day, we all are entitled to them. They do not make it fact. 
Okay, my friends, this video is longer than I want, so we're going to go ahead and pull a card. Okay, let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle and see what cards a lot of users today. Uh, these are so glossy, and I don't know if that's making it hard to shuffle. Okay. Okay. Oof, I'm gonna keep going for this. Okay, no, I'm not gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so these are the cards I'll be using today. Very interesting cards. Very, very, very interesting card. And it almost speaks directly to my perception as I read through this deck. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Which tells me that this deck really has something to say and you should be checking it out. Okay, so my friends, these are the cards that I'll be using today. The first card in the past position is the Queen of Swords. The second card in the present position is the Magician. And the third card in the future position is the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Okay, so... I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Let me sit with these cards for a second. Um, just contemplating what I see. I have some, some thoughts right now. Definitely have some thoughts right now. Wow. Okay, my friends. Listen, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so on YouTube. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all those social medias. Also, make sure that you support it by letting other people know about this channel and these videos. I would love, love, love to have your support. I'm grateful that for any support that I get. Love you, my friends.